Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. Hey, Bomber, what's for lunch? Fish. And chips? In salad. How come you never cook chips? Saving you from cholesterol. Yeah, but chips goes with fish just like tomato sauce goes with meat pies. Just like fat goes with a heart attack. Yeah, but there's fat in the fish and the batter and those burgers you cooked yesterday. So, uh, what's your problem with chips? Are you a food snob? Or, or, or the big question, Bomber, did you ever bad experience with a chip in your past? <laughs> <laughs> you broke the record! 38 seconds. You set me up. You had four minutes and 22 seconds uh, remaining. They gave me five minutes for you to throw <laughs> something. And I'm good. Bummer by name, bummer by nature. What's going on? Ah, uh, Bummer was just teaching Spider how to juggle eggs. That the gash is at Bomber. Yes, Buffer. Good. Since you guys like throwing stuff at each other so much, we'll have that up on deck now. Drill in two minutes. Yes, Buff. Right. Okay, this exercise is designed to hone the skills of the boarding party when faced with a non-compliant FFV. Swaino, Bomber, RO. You're my fisherman. You'll be on board the FFV. As the boarding party approaches, you defend yourselves with this. You are to offer passive resistance only, OK? No weapons and no violence. If the XO or myself call out your name, you're out. This is an exercise only, OK? So don't get carried away. Any questions? Yeah, Buff, have I got time to get some rubber gloves? I don't want to touch that. No, you don't. Buff, can I go to the toilet? Let's go. It's softer than the stuff in normal trailers. Exo to buffer boarding party on approach. Roger that. Fisherman, stand by. OK, buffer, here we come. All right, let's get him. Righto, in your own time. Get him, get him, get him hard. Get out of it, Navy. Put your poles up, sir. Put your poles up. Get away, Navy. Navy. Got get up the front. the boys. Spider, this is for you. Put the poles. Get that pole in, Get that pole in. Get that pole in. Get that in. Get that pole 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 in. I dropped it if it was a chip. Bomb! Look, there's a chip on your shoulder. Chippy chip, chip, chip. Hey, 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 hey! What's going on? Uh, uh. Right, our exercise is over! You in the rib, now!
What did I say? No contact, no violence. What the hell were you thinking? If Swaino and I hadn't grabbed him, he'd have gone overboard and you'd be up on disciplinary charges. I'm really sorry. But it was just a push. Sometimes I have a bit of a short fuse. I don't care how you dress it up. You've got a serious problem with your temper. Yes, Buffer. What did he say to you? Spider that made you go him? Nothing. I'll be discussing this incident with the Swain and XO before I decide whether to lay charges. What? Buffer, I'll do anything. If I had my way, you'd be off this boat right now. There is no room on boats for people with a short fuse. You're a liability. I'm so sorry, it won't happen again. No, it won't. I suppose everyone's talking about me. Oh, that's a part where you're supposed to say that they're not. Oh, I don't do nice. You could try Nikki. Actually, I prefer honest. I hope what Spider said to you on the boat. He was teasing you about chips again. What is it with you and chips? Every time I take a new posting, it's the same thing. People trying it on with me. Bro, I just want to do my job, fit in. Nobody likes me, do they? No, nobody likes a temper. Have you ever tried nice? I'll stick with honest. You're going to be fine. Really? Yeah. You're a good cook. The charge was stabbed. Did they hit him over the head as well, boss? How does it go ahead? He's doing Tai Chi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you were doing it, I wouldn't be asking, but it's the charge. The charge is fine. He's been given a clean bill of health. Sir. Right. And he'll be getting a citation for his bravery. Yes, right. I just got a call from Coast Watch. They've spotted two men adrift in a tinny 12 miles north of us. Gosh, out here. Yeah, one of them's signaling a plane, the other one doesn't appear to be moving. Nav, plot this. Yes, sir. Starboard 10, steer 020. Starboard 10, steer 020. Do you hear their navigator speaking? We're altering course to investigate a small boat who appears to be in distress. Stand by to recover by sea boat. Any sign? Where do you think they've come from? Oh, no idea. Oh, sir, we're coming up on the coordinates. Anything on radar? I've hooked a possible contact which might tie in, but our tinny's so small, it's hard to pull out of the clutter. Boss? I have the tinny visual, green two zero. Great, X. Let's get the sea boat in the water. Nav, my sea boat. Wow. Spider, I'm so sorry. I really. It's fine, really. Can you just hit me or something and we'd be even? I don't hit people. <laughs> Stuff you then. Spider, come on. Hey, Buffer. Do you need an extra hand? Nah. Boys is down. Ready in the sea boat. Boys is down. Ready in the sea boat. Carry on the sea boat. Get them off me! Get them off me! They're crawling off me! Get them off me, help! They're all over me! 
Get them off. Just calm down, please. Get them off me. Get them off me. Get them off. Help. Get them off. Sit down. You all right, Hey, sit down there. Sit down there. Yes, mate. Yes. Sit down. Sit down. Calm down. You're safe, mate. You're safe. All right, let's get him out of here. All right, hold on. All right, let's go. They got so thirsty, they started drinking salt water. Ooh, that stuff will send you mad. Yeah, it sounds like it nearly did. What's Swaino say? He says they'll be fine once he gets them rehydrated. How'd they get out here? Well, they anchored next to a coral reef, and then they took their tinny off to go diving. They go diving, they come up, and they see their boat motoring away from them. Did they see who took her? No, and no sign of the boat that brought the thieves. Well, this would be the third taking in the last two months. Did the boat see which direction their boat was heading? Yeah, southeast. Come to southeast now. We're coming up on Truman Island. Doesn't some uh, rich bloke own the whole thing? Yeah, Ray Walsman. We evacuated him some time back from the Samuel Islands. So right. You were off getting your dolphins at the time. Or at least you were supposed to be. God, I miss the submarines. Nice bloke. Said we should drop in if we were passing by. Ice front. Now, if these boat thieves have held to their same course, we would have passed right through here. He might have seen something. Or he might have been a target himself. You want me to radio him, sir? I uh, no. Buffer, organise a shore party. Sorted, boss. Oh, take bomber. Loser or loser buff, she's no good as decoration. You two stay here and behave. Where are you going? Say hello. She's way out of your league. Nice to see you again. What brings you to this neck of the woods? We're following a stolen boat. Wondered if you'd seen any vessels come past your island. Yeah. Nice to see you again. Good to see you, sir. Well, you haven't got a phone on this fancy new boat of yours? No, it's all right. I mean, you wanted to have a sticky beak at my secret hideaway, didn't you? And that's OK. Come on, let me show you around. No point in having it if you can't show it off to me. Hey there. I'm um, Billy. Or... You're a spider. Hey, nice to meet you too. You won't get very far if you give up that easily. <coughs> <coughs> that doesn't sound very good. No, but it gets me out of study. By oh, uni. Your stock's just went up 10 points. No, you're 12. What, so you do skill from here? By correspondence. Nice. No teachers, no classes, no detention. <laughs> no fun, no friends, nowhere to go out on the weekend. Must be pretty cool living on an island, though. <laughs> Try being here six months. It's a long way from anywhere. Yeah, but um, you've got, like, uh, palm trees and sand and water. Um, stunningly beautiful women. <laughs> But we haven't seen anything pass by, not that we'd necessarily notice. Might be worth keeping an eye out. There's been an increase in boat thefts along this part of the coast. You may become a target. Yeah, well, don't worry about me, Captain. I've got security. Any unwelcome guests who turn up here might find they've bitten off more than they can chew. Besides, my boat's in Cairns picking up supplies. Be there for a week. It's 
So, um, you ever get to port? Sometimes. Thanks. Um, because I've got this concert on this weekend. I'd love to go. Cool. Oh, but I won't be back on the mainland till my exams are over. Well, maybe we could hook up then. I'd like that. Yeah, me too. Yeah, sure, I can't offer you guys a drink. Oh, we better get after this boat, thieves. Let me show you out. So that's your number. What are you doing? Dad, I'm just getting some sun. Catching pneumonia, more like. You've already got a cold. Go inside and do some study. Or what? You'll ground me? Nice to see you again, Mike. Likewise. I think I found her. Is that her? That's her. That's our boat. Can't raise them on the radio, sir. Keep trying. Tell them if they don't acknowledge, we'll board them. And drop me an op rep to NAVCOM so they know what's happening. No one on deck or at the wheel, boss. Who's sailing her? Still not responding, sir. Station's hands, the boarding station's hands, the boarding station's assume damage control state three, condition voyage. X, I want you to lead this one and watch your back. We don't know how many there are. Sir. There is absolutely no indication of how this man died, sir. There is no injury, no bruising. Yeah, copy, X. Any identification? No, sir, no ID. Oh, no. He has on his arm what looks like a military services tattoo. Could be Russian. Yeah, it could be Russian. He's a well-built guy. Similar to the guys who stabbed charge, boss. You recognise him? I can't positively ID him, no, sir. If he is one of that team, what would they want with an old tub like that? You know, the bigger question is what happened to him. No worries, nothing. It's like he just stopped breathing. Did you hear that, sir? Affirmative. There's nothing more than we can do here. Okay, X, prepare the boat for tow. I'll inform the authorities. Copy that. It takes a long time to stop one of these boys from breathing. Dead boat. On our boat. <laughs> oh, man, that's karma for you. He pinches our boat, leaves us to die, and he's the one who gets it. And you didn't see this man at all? Well, no way. Like we said, all we saw was our boat sailing away. So is the boat OK? Is there any damage or...? It doesn't appear to be. So we can go back on board. Oh, mate, you're about to crime scene. 
We're towing your boat back to port for the police to investigate. You're kidding. A man died on your boat. They'll want to know why. Sir? Their ship's log and passports. So they are who they say they are. And they have been where they say they've been. How long till we're ready to tow? Uh, Spider and Buffer are setting it up now. They're about 10 minutes off. Do you want us to bring the body on board? No, the police want us to keep it in situ. And Bomber's bagging the body now, sir. Charge, congratulations on your goal. <sighs> Hardly brave getting yourself stabbed. You know, Charge, I never expected you to be a kind of... Oh, a touchy kind of guy. Yeah, physio what? makes me do it. Physio? Yep. Not the shrink. What shrink? For relaxation, post-trauma. What trauma? Some idiot stabs him with a screwdriver and missed all the important bits. Engines are up and running, ready when you are, sir. Thanks. Hey, Charge. Body on the boat. How'd you like to take a look at E.T.'s video? See if you recognise him. Sure. He's waiting. Yeah, yeah. I'm coming. Okay. <sighs> You're a bit shaky there, mate. Charge? No. Oh, I, don't, I don't think so. And you don't recognise the boaties? No. Nah, just saw them when they came on board. A couple of hippies. Nothing like these military guys. Right. Thanks, Judge. So what do we do now? Now? Mm. Nothing. We've got a dead thief. No way of tracking his mates and a couple of boaties who picked an extremely unlucky time to go diving. Do we leave it to the police? Well, I can't see what else we can do. Although I would like to know what killed him. OK, Nav, we ready to start this tow? All set, sir. Sir, Nav, come on the line. We're heading straight back to Truman Mark's Island. Seat. It's a medivac. Wellsman's daughter needs urgent transfer to hospital. I'll look after this row. What are you doing? Dropping the toe. Tidy that up, Spide. Dropping the... But I'm meant to be prepping lunch in ten. Too bad. Great. Now we're going to be really popular. Tough. There's been a medivac. Ray Walsman's daughter's collapsed. Oh, golly, Walsman. What's wrong with her? I don't know. We're staying here as a steaming party. Well, Buff, could I swap with E.T.? Because he would love to be here. And I'm the second medic. If there's a medical situation... Oi! You're both staying till the Hammersley gets back. Bridge. Smells like a dead body to me. It's been ridiculous. The guy's been dead a while, right? Figures he'll start to decompose. He's not in the sun, he won't blow up for another 24 hours. What? Same as a dead cow. Carly will be fine. How do you know that? She's rich, things don't go wrong for rich people. Besides, Walsman's not gonna let anything happen to this precious little girl. What? Spider! Move the body bag just moved. It's 
spot of the bloke's dead. Bomber, he moved. All right, I swear he did. You better not be joking, Spider. I'm not kidding. But can't move, I'm telling you. <clears throat> He's brown bread. No, I saw him move. I swear oh. I did, Buff. Bomber Brown? I didn't see anything. Well, something weird's going on on this boat. Don't you feel it? Like the shadows or something, they're moving. Buff, something happened to this guy. Well, why don't you figure out what while you help Bomber fix us something to eat? Congenital heart condition. She gets some infection in her blood. You just. Cold. So you do know that it's only limited what we can do on board? Yeah, but you can get it to hospital. Yeah. No, Dad, you stay. I will... Darling, I'm going to be beside you all the way. You guys, you have to sort out the contract yourselves, all right? OK. Come on, let's go. Captain X, we're heading down now, sir. I like what you've done with your overalls, Nev. <sighs> OK, so how long is this going to last for? What? It's you, freezing me out. We're professionals, aren't we? Yeah, we're professionals. Well, good. Well, then let's be just that. Professional. Look, no, I've got work to do, and so do you. Yes, ma'am. Drag your back. You ever see Jaws? Come on, hurry up. Get in the boat. Lots of nasties in there. <laughs> so, something you want to tell us? I'd rather tell the captain. All right, let's go. My boys tell me you were swimming for sure. Innocent men don't try to run away. What's going on? You know the dead man on your boat? No, we don't. You killed him, didn't you? We'll get to the bottom of this. One way or the other. Hang in there, sweetheart. We'll get you to the hospital. Mr. Walshman, the Navy has a helicopter on standby. It'll be deployed as soon as we're in range. How long? Five hours. Five hours? We're going as fast as we can without blowing an engine. This might do it. We'll do everything we can. He says she could die because of it, is that right? Well, if it goes untreated, it can be deadly. And all I can do is monitor and give her fluids. What she needs is IV antibiotics. But they can't do that till they take a blood sample. What? There's something weird with the blood pressure. Well, weird how? Well, if the infection had reached her heart, her blood BP should be really high, but it's not. In fact, if anything, it's low. Is there something else going on? I don't know. Okay, all right, uh, just do what Fleet Medical tell you. How's your malpractice insurance? What? Oh, I'm guessing if anything happens to Daddy's little girl, Walsman's going to take your house and your firstborn. Thanks, Robert. You hear about people who get buried alive. Are they in some sort of coma? When they wake up, it's too late. You're six feet under. I thought Stockman was superstitious. 
No. They've dug up coffins and found claw marks in the wood. People's fingernails scraping. And why would they dig them up? Maybe he's just paralysed. You know, he's been given an injection or something. Like those medical stories, you know, you see them on TV. You know, people are given the wrong anaesthetic, they feel the whole operation. So they can't scream, they can't talk, they can't move. Spider, if you're so sure he's alive, then check his pulse. I'm not touching the dead guy. All oh, right. You're the medic. I thought he wasn't dead. Spider, mm. stay right where you are. Mm. Just relax, stay calm. Don't move a muscle. What? What are you talking about? There's a snake behind you. Yeah, good one. Just relax. Baba! Baba! That's all, I'm all starving. Hey. Buff, no. It's an Eastern Brown. They're deadly. If we don't move, it won't attack, I promise. We're fine. They're volatile, but not if we stay calm, okay? So just... Anyone knows volatile? We've been trying to get to the radio, but... I'll, um... I'll see if we're still in portable range. Doing. Okay. Yeah. Part A2, this is Bravo A2, over. So part A2, this is Bravo A2, over. Aro, this is Buffer, this is an emergency. Do you hear me? Bravo A2, this is for part A2, what is your emergency, over? You knew all along how that bloke died. What are you talking about? Well, don't even try it. My crew found the snake. You're responsible for that man's death. He stole our boat. He should never have been on it. And what about my crew? You could have warned me. Instead, three of my sailors walked into a death trap. If anything happens to them, there'll be charges. Your crew? What? He said they found a snake. Let's just make a run for it. No way. It's faster than you are, Spidey. You'll never make it. Bomo, we can't stay down here all day. No, you can't. It's not the only snake on board. What? Those boaties, they confessed. They've been smuggling them. Great. Where are they? That water container? Oh, 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 we gotta Don't get out of here. We stay still. That's why the bag was moving. This place is crawling with them. Bomber, what do we do? I'm thinking. We'll think quickly. Relax. <coughs> Is there something wrong? Well, you tell me. Taken your blood pressure every 10 minutes since we got back on the boat. That's perfectly normal. But you wouldn't be if you really did have bacterial endocarditis. And you're not showing any other symptoms. So you're not really sick, are you? Let's get lonely on that island. You have no idea. I didn't think it'd be that big a deal. The dad would come. So what did you think? I just wanted one Saturday night on the mainland. And I know dad would be angry, but 
It'd be worth it to have one night as a normal person. You don't have to tell anyone. I can pay you lots. Dad gives me an allowance and I've got nowhere else to spend it. We can't do it, can we? Please. I'm sorry. Nothing wrong with her. It's gotta be some kind of mistake. Look. You're a Navy medic. I want someone checking out my daughter who understands her condition. I want her on that chopper. The chopper's been called off. What? Mr. Walsman, there's nothing wrong with your daughter. She just wanted to get off that island. Are you trying to tell me that she's faking? Look, maybe she needs some friends of her own age, you know? Don't you dare tell me how to raise my daughter. That'll be all, thanks, Wayne. Mr. Walsman, you're right. What happens between you and your daughter, it's your business. But right now, the Navy's spending $10,000 an hour to get her to a hospital she doesn't need. And while we're off on this wild goose chase, I've got other members of my crew in a life-threatening situation, and we can't help them. I'll see that you and your daughter are comfortable until we dock in Cairns. From there, you can make your own arrangements to get back home. supposed to grab them behind their necks. No, it makes it even easier for them to bite you. So what do we do, Bomber? You can't stay down here, Bomber. OK, Spider, when I say go, yeah. you run to the stairs. Straight to the snake. You won't be there by then. Buff, you cap. Throw it off to the side. The snake's easily distracted. They can't concentrate on two things at once. What are you going to do? Don't worry about me. Are you sure you know what you're doing? You ready? You don't want to be late? Yep. Are they chips? It was never about the chips. What was it about then? Promise you won't tell anyone? Look, Ro, I don't want anyone feeling sorry for me. I don't do gossip. There was an accident back home with a fryer. I was cooking for the stockman. Came kitchen burnt to the ground. Is that why you've been worried about using the day fryer at sea? Sort of. One of the stockmen thought I was still in there. And? He went in after me and he got pretty badly burnt. And people blamed you? No. It's what I couldn't face. Their kindness. So you ran away to join the Navy? Yeah. Listen, look, we're all running from something. You're ahead. At least you know what you're running from. These disciplinary charges. Look, I want to know if I'm going to be suspended. You know what I don't get? 
how you can be the kind of person who loses the plot over something as stupid as chips, but then you're put in a real crisis and you remain totally calm. I don't want that first person on the Hammersley. The second person. I want her in my corner. Just keep that temper in check. Thank you, Buff. because he missed my pancreas by two millimetres. Did you talk about this with the shrink? I didn't think there was anything to talk about. It wasn't a problem when I was in the office in Port. And it was a thousand miles away. Hey. Just happy you're still with us, mate. That's all. <laughs> 